Hello guys, and welcome to episode 59 of my Empire Total War campaign, playing as Prussia, going for world domination. Previously, we started the movement of our large armies towards Russia. We have this large army up here in Estonia and Livonia. We've got one over by West Prussia, and then we have one down here in Serbia. And they're all going to be encroaching on the Russian territory. Once we've dealt, once we've dealt with Russia, we can head south, and then we can make our way across to India to fight the Maratha Confederacy. And this will probably be our hardest challenge uh, as we move to conquer the entire world. We have started to move into the Americas, which is good. Although I'm not sure how much further we're going to go here. I had quick tip from one of you guys in the comments, I really appreciate it by the way, uh, was to go to the coast of Brazil and then pop up here so that I can then pop out down at the south side of America and then we can come and attack the rebels down here like straight away. So we can get rid of the Arawakan rebels, we can set that up as a base and then we can attack the ships and, well not necessarily the ships, but definitely the settlements of the pirates. Uh, getting rid of the pirates ASOP would be very, very nice indeed. So that is the plan. That will basically enable my navies to head all over the place. So that'd be great. Uh, another one of you guys said that the Maratha Confederacy likes to bring around an army. I don't ever remember that happening to me, but I'll definitely make sure to keep an eye out for that. Uh, but let's carry on with our turn. I think most of our movement was done, so I'm just going to quickly skip through this and double check. It's a shame I couldn't get that army off. Uh, this one, Emmanuel Diamesson. He can definitely head down here towards Damascus. I think his army is strong enough to take it, so we might as well. We've got a little bit of a garrison there kind of holding the line. I'm just kind of curious how far down I want to go. We could technically attack the trade route here. And that would give us some more income. Currently we're on 16,000. And that's going to be 16,400. We get a little bit of extra doing that. And then next turn, maybe I can come down here. I mean, it might be worth just moving as far as I can, honestly. Let me attack the port to kick them out. And that way we can use the road there to get to Damascus. I think that makes sense. Because the thing is, if I can move around here and we take Damascus, Jerusalem and Egypt, or Cairo, and then we can basically just head eastward towards Baghdad and finish off the Ottomans once and for all, because over to the west, it's the Barbary States. So yeah, that would be good. Although I would expect if there's not an army here, it's probably quite a large one in Egypt. Uh, we do have an army here in Yerevan, but we're going to have to go for the Maratha Confederacy, I think, because I was thinking of attacking Georgia, but we can do that when we come down from finishing off Russia. If we attack the Maratha Confederacy here, I think that'd be a lot safer for now. We're going to go ahead and do that. It says it's relatively equal. The General's Bodyguard does get elephants, so they're definitely going to be a target for my cannons. Let's jump on in. Those elephants are nasty in melee combat, like really, really nasty. So we do not want to let them get close. The Marathic Confederacy is a seriously scary. Especially when they have bigger armies, like the army that's in the settlement behind this one is going to be really tough to deal with. But what we're going to do, uh, I'll probably just set up back here. I think we have the cannon advantage, so we can just use that. Okay, put a couple units in between. I'll put one unit here. Can do something like this. 
Let me just unlimber these so I know their position. I'll just adjust these. Okay, good. Then we're going to need these to cover our flank. This hill up here. And then we'll need a couple to cover our left. I'll have these help cover the right and then these can be reserve. Because they do have like the melee units that could come in and just charge us down. I'm going to speed it up. I think they come to us. One thing we can do is try and like bounce some shots into their artillery. But the main thing we're going to want to shoot is the general's bodyguard here. On these elephants, that's going to be something we're going to have to deal with sooner than later. I really don't know if we're going to be able to hit this. Are they really just coming straight in there? Wow, they really went for that, huh? Okay, it's fine. Hopefully, oh, they went into Malika then. It's annoying. I'm just going to start moving these over, just in case. But yeah, I was going to say we should win that. My men actually held really well into that charge. Yeah, let's make sure we shoot the elephants now. Gonna keep things sped up. I need to check their infantry and where it is. So these guys are their musket dudes, which is fine. It's these guys that I need to worry about. If I let these get into melee, it's gonna really suck. I'm not a fan of them coming at me this angle, it's kind of annoying. I can't really adjust my cannons now, so that sucks. I'm going to shift this unit to the right. I'm going to start moving these guys around. I'm going to shift these to the right as well. Make sure we hit those elephants. Good. Thankfully, cannonballs are pretty good against elephants. <laughs> so that's how I'm saving grace.
I'm tempted to try and move these minstrel over to the left, but I think it's a bit too late to do that. I was hoping to maybe get into this building to cover off my left flank, but I think what I'm going to do instead is we'll just kind of wheel back. And as soon as these guys get in range of canister, we can use that instead. Right, we're going to want to make sure we're hitting the Seek Warriors. This, like, formation that they're doing here is really weird. Nice, we could kill quite a few of them there. This is not an ideal engagement for me on this right hand side. And then I'm going to pull this guy to the left and we'll cover off their flank with these on top of the hill. Good. I need to be really careful there. Yeah. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh god, no. My kind of group. Run. Alright, we hit these from both sides with a charge. Overwhelm them, it's good. Alright, nice, we broke the morale at least. We'll break the morale on the next one. Oh, potato. That's not good. Hey, that's good there. <laughs> Potato cannons fired right into the back of my guys. It's so annoying. The, the, can the canister shot just absolutely annihilated them. Alright, well. Take my cannon crew out of this. I don't know why they're like in, engaged in melee. That's really dumb. Alright, that's the hard part done. Right now we just gotta clean up the rest. So we just start marching towards them. I might go like round shot and just keep shooting the elephants.
I'm not sure what sort of bonuses the AI gets on hard in this, but I'm pretty sure that they definitely are a lot a lot more accurate because they are on harder difficulty. Like when on that right hand side when I was doing that engagement, we had two versus one and somehow I still managed to lose like fifty men in that unit. Pretty bad. And just stay spread out as we approach the cannons. Not even sure what they're firing at. They're going for my commander, maybe. But my guys are fresh. It's all good. Make sure to charge in. I'm going to turn off the guard mode. So they envelop them. Very good. I don't know why that made like the camel dying sound. Mm, do I end the battle there? No, we, we, I think we just continue it for a little bit. I just want to see how many of these guys we can kill. If I can kill like the entire crew, that's fantastic. Yeah, we're pretty much dead, so that's good. We'll leave it there then. Just want to make sure that cannon crew is dead. Alright, from here, we do have this army to worry about. I don't know whether it would be worth trying to like move back towards the settlement and replenish this army before moving on. Also, if I could recruit some calf, that would be nice. To run down units after battles, because that's one thing we're definitely missing out on. Let's have a look if there's any more armies around here, because there's that one. Doesn't look like it. So this would be like the only one. Just three units of cavs, so that's fine. Just these five units of sea quarriers that I'm a bit worried about. It's going to cost me 4,200 to start getting them back up to scratch. Hmm, do we or do we not? Because if we end up having another battle, I'm not sure it's going to be the most useful. I'm going to do it though, we'll stay like in our territory and we'll move on from there. Right, let's move our rakes around just to make sure that we can keep an eye on all of these troops. There isn't anything in our way by those things. Danish army up here. Still got good eyes around here. That's good. Kind of tempted to go around like this. Just wanted to see if there was anything on the right side of Damascus. He's chilling here. That's fine. This guy's going around to check on Tripoli. There's a small army here. Be quite easy to take out. And of course, we're keeping an eye on Moscow. Great. How's this doing? They're still, like, really against it, huh? <laughs> They're really against conversion there. I have a priest and the pretty sure we have a uh, church school here, don't we? Oh, maybe not. That might be why. Let's just check our technology. All good. Okay, I think pretty much everything done. It's good. It'd be really nice to take out Denmark because then I can get rid of these and get my fleets out. 
So I don't think we're really going to need a big fleet in this. Also, since I've got some extra cash, I should probably invest it in any army that needs a bit of replenishment. I don't think there are many that completely need it. Actually, this one. There we go. Perfect. So they can replenish on the way over. Well, I'm not sure I want to replenish these. That kind of seems like a waste. I might just merge them. Perfect. Saves me the cash. And also, I can, I can add more cav. I think that's the main thing that this needs. Although, actually, no, we have two cav there, so never mind. It's fine. Cool. Uh, that's everything done then. Unless I need to fix anything. I should probably just move on to the next turn. We can upgrade maybe some of the roads. That might be a good shout. Yeah, we'll do that. Upgrade some of these roads over towards the enemy so that we can get down here nice and fast. I think mo most of these have at least cobbled roads, so that's good. All right, let's move on. I still need to work out yeah, when I'm going to put an army over there. Hmm. Like at the United Provinces, I mean. Take the Netherlands. I should have really sent one of my armies from Berlin. Although I guess I could recruit a fresh army from Berlin and then we could send that army to the New World, actually. That might be a good shout. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Did my rake die? I didn't have line of sight down there for the Maratha Confederacy. Uh, do I want to intercept this? I mean, they will get in my way if they take the port, so I kind of want to say yes, but I can always attack them in the next turn if I need to. Although, that would... I'm just going to resolve it. Screw it. I was going to say, it's going to take away our movement range next turn if we do that, so I'd rather just be able to make as much ground as possible. I'll check out Mexico <laughs> with their ships on the water now. Nice, the pirates are going to come eat them up. <laughs> Alright, process the missionary, very nice. Oh, why is he all the way up here, though? <laughs> That's annoying. Is he? He's very good, though. Look at that. Wow, he's amazing. His religious zeal is nuts. Plus four. Zeal. I uh, will head him over here towards Russia. Freemasonry in Boston. The London based Grand Lodge of Freemasons has granted a charter to a new lodge in Boston, Massachusetts, thus formalizing the spread of the organization into America. Freemasonry has thrived in Britain since the formation of the Grand Lodge in 1717, which bound the previously separate Mason Masonic lodges under a common constitution. As trade and colonization spreads, so has Freemasonry, with provincial Grand Masters representing the Grand Lodge around the world. Some voices have raised concerns over charges of nepotism and other more potentially sinister influences. But as yet, the authorities seem happy for Freemasonry to exist and thrive in America. Certainly, its central tenets seem laudable enough, brotherly love, charity and truth. As long as its members continue to be guided by only these principles, Freemasonry appears harmless enough to the majority, despite its mysterious rituals and bizarre regalia. We also have a gentleman popping up over here. Oh, we don't even have a school here do we i'm sure we destroyed it so uh, i guess we'll just bring him down to one of these schools uh, i don't know how we're going to get there because <laughs> technically we're blockaded uh, we have roads built in armenia <laughs> very good uh, we are actually going to have to be a bit careful of rebellion there Although I can just exempt it and it's fine. So that's good. We'll do that. A gentleman died. That's why we got a new one. And we got a new port emerges at Corsica. That's very good. I will just make that a fishing port. 
And yeah, did this guy? No, he didn't die. He went over there. That's why we can't see. So this is kind of rough because they moved in another army in our way. We can, however, hit Damascus this turn, so that's good. Yeah, I, I don't know if we'd really be able to hit Ardabil this turn. Because if I'm attacking this unit, th this is going to chip us even more. And then we're going to have to deal with the uh, uh, settlements. Now, settlements usually would not be that bad because you guys have seen in the past that like the European forts, you can break down that little part of the wall and then you can bring up your cannons and kill them as they try and charge out. But with these kinds of forts is you break down the corner and then they all charge out at once, it seems. So that would be really bad for us since most of their units are melee focused. And if we get stuck in a big old brawl, we're going to lose. So... I don't know quite if that's like possible for me to do right now. I could also just go for Jerusalem, but I think it's best to like keep killing the unit. So we'll go for Damascus first here. And we want to kill off the units, like I said, so we'll jump on in. Just going to double check what they have. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's go. So this should be pretty simple and then we can go and take the next one and because we've taken this one first we've deleted most of those units so the next one will be simple anyway and then we're just gonna have to see if there's any units in Egypt like that's basically where we're at right now I thought they had walls but apparently they don't so we're just gonna play it like a normal battle okay well deploy like this Okay, uh, we'll pop a unit in between them. Right, the rest can chill behind. Although well, technically have another unit of cannons, so we'll pop them in there. Good. We'll keep this one like in reserve and um, spread my general out, spread the dragoons out. Although the dragoons, we could dismount them and use them as another line unit, but I'm not sure it's necessary. So there is this on our left, but it I don't think it stops them from attacking us. Are these the, they're just the sword ones, the melee guys. They've also got these Armenian archers going around the left side. I'm going to shift my dragoons to the left. We're going to keep them mounted. Because it's Things, units like that Armenian Archer unit, I reckon not very good in melee, so we could probably just run them down.
Just looking to pop these Danny Horsemen if I can with a couple cannonballs, that'd be great. Not a fan of them skewing their army to the left side though, that's really annoying because all of my cannons are placed towards the right. But soon these two at least will be in line of sight and we can smash them with canister. I'll probably start firing at them now. Shift this unit to the left. I'm going to make them run over here. Oops. I didn't mean to move that line. It's fine. We'll just get them involved there. Oh my cannons got involved in the melee. I'm going to have the Dragoons charge this armed populace unit in the back. Oh my. Leave my cannon crew alone. <laughs> Right, that did its job. Very good. Uh, we just killed their leader, so that's very good as well. Should cause them to pretty much chain route. This has been a bit more hectic than I imagined it would be. That's okay. Unfortunately, my cannon crew really took a beating. We don't need to chase them, we just need to get the job done, honestly, like ASAP. So if we just charge these units on the left, I'm pretty sure we win. So I just want to try and route them as soon as I can. We're just going to double charge these hillmen. And we're going to go on to go straight over to the Armenian archers and kill them as well. I don't want too many of my dragoons to die because basically they are needed for sorting out public order which will probably be a problem in Damascus so I 
There's also a unit moving around on my flank there. Okay. Alright, we destroyed those units. That's great. should be victory. There we go. Perfect. Well, not quite, but <laughs> good enough. <laughs> My cannons getting killed there was not ideal. Not ideal at all. We'll take that, fix it up. Do I want to build walls maybe? I could do. But what I'm going to do is we're going to get all of them fixed up. All right, it was there. What's the public order like? Okay, it's actually not too bad, because I don't think there's a school here, so... Should be fine. Also, we can just about see that there is nothing here at Baghdad, so that's interesting. Kind of tells me that there's more likely to be stuff around here. Yeah, they're sending more and more units, I think, from Egypt over to Jerusalem right now. So we'll have a, probably another battle at Jerusalem. That's reasonably big. But this one definitely has walls, so. That will be potentially easier. We don't mind if they sally forth into like a big melee, but the issue with that is that it's like in an open field. So it's very easy for my units to get flanked and get like kind of caught out and surrounded and then the, the enemy units last a lot longer than they should. Alright, uh, we could demand this surrender, but they're not going to accept it, no. Alright, yeah, we'll just play it out. Let's go. Take Kegliani. This should be a pretty simple... Well, I say simple battle. They do match us in numbers. It's going to really just come down to the fact that we have cannons and they don't. I think overall we have quite a lot less men than they do. We'll deploy over here. I'll have actually my militia and reserve. We've also got these that can help charge into an engagement. It's fine. Uh, is this... Can we deploy on this? No, okay, good. That technically protects our left flank. I didn't unlimber them. Oops. Okay, let's speed things up. I think technically they could go up here themselves and then shoot down on us. But I'm hoping that they just kind of squeeze around the edge here. Because I think at least a few tiers of this is not accessible. I guess I could always put these guys here on the left if I need to. As soon as the calf gets in range, we want to be firing at them. And then... Okay, never mind. And they ran back out of range. We're going to stop these firing, move them to canister. Some good shots coming through. Trying to run out range again, but they didn't this time. Nice, good hits. <laughs> if we could take out their leader, that'd be great, because they don't generally have that much morale. 
these rebels. Rebel scum. It's been dealt a nice blow. Let's hit the next. The thing about militia as well, compared to line infantry, is that we have like three ranks of fire by rank, whereas they don't. They only fire with their first rank, so that's a pretty big help as well. So for every like one volley they do to us, we do three back. Similar to the last battle, we are just going to want to make them rout ASAP. We do have the cav to do that. I don't know if... Well, I don't think I can actually get up here on the left very easily. Okay, maybe they can. That's fine. I mean, we can just charge this. My cav just absolutely destroyed them. Very good. And this isn't even good cav. <laughs> this is just like the militia cav. These lines, though. Taking a little bit longer than I expected. Oh, we just mince that unit. Oh, that's good. We killed the general. Should make them all run away. Stop them firing. Run them down. That should be it. The other one's routing as well. Good. And the battle there. Heroic victory. Job done. And that's back in our hands. That's going to give us another 266 income. I swear it was like way more than that before, but oh well. Right. With that done, uh, we can actually move into Bastia. And then we can go pick up our troops. Next turn. I mean, what I could do is come down to Cagliari, pick up the troops, drop them off here, and just hit Tunis like straight away. But I wouldn't be able to do it this turn. It'd have to be the following turn. I really wish this wasn't damaged, so I could recruit. That would be good. 
All right. Well, anyway, let's continue with our turn. Uh, these guys. How's this public order doing? They're still going to be unhappy. We'll just leave the army there for now. It's fine. Those guys are fine. That's fine. Uh, these guys can carry on. We have these fellas who can carry on. Let's go through St. Petersburg to save some movement range. And we have this battle. And I guess we just go and take out Algiers. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So we're going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we will wipe out Sweden because taking this settlement will kill them. And then we'll go and attack Tunis afterwards. Yeah, not long for these Scandinavians, which are now Africans, apparently. <laughs> That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Yeah,